Hi everybody, this is Julie with ReadySitStamp.com and today we're going to be making a cute little card today using the Scrappy Mom stamp set and it is called Food for Thought and this is for their latest challenge and it is from the kitchen or in the kitchen so something having to do with the kitchen so I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a little one that says we're a perfect pair so I am just doing my pattern paper here. I've gone ahead and done a little bit of faux stitching in the background and that is with this handy dandy new pen that I have from Recollections or Recollections and this is from Michaels and it is a medium opaque marker. It is amazing. You can do really quick little dashes and you don't have to go back on them. You know how when you do dashes and you have to go back and back and back when you're doing a different pin. So this is really nice to not have to do that. I'm noticing this isn't as straight as I would like this. Okay, so let's get started in assembling this. I've got this part that goes down below and this is kind of like the little part that they're going to stand on. So this is kind of like their little ground here. So it's going to go like that. And then I've got my two little pears, and is, aren't their faces so cute? This is with the Peachy Keen Stamp Face Sweet On You Face Assortment. I love this set. It is so cute because you can do like a man and a woman version of it, and I just love that. I think it's super sweet. So let me get some mounting foam on here. Okay, so I added the mounting foam to the back of these cute little pears. So I'm just going to put one of the pairs here and then one of the cute little pairs on the other side here. That's so sweet and kind of have them holding hands. How sweet is that? And then the sentiment here, we are a perfect pair. Uh, the first part of it, I am just going to add some of this little ATG tape on the back of it. And the second part on the back of the green, I'm going to pop that up. And I like the pattern side of the green. It has a little bit of a pattern to it. So um, I like that side better, so I'm just going to use that, add a little bit of mounting foam to this. And since this is kind of a wider one, I think I'm going to do two pieces of mounting foam to this. Okay, we'll just peel that off. Add that little sentiment to our cute card here. That's adorable. Okay, so there's that. And now last but not least, we have a couple little hearts to add to the center of this. So I'm just going to get my little tweezer bees here and add a little bit of glue to the back of this. And I just have some Mambo Tombow glue here. And I'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue here and put that one right here like that. And then I've got a medium sized little heart. And I'll add that one right above the bigger heart. Whoops! <laughs> and then I've got one more here to add to it and it's a tiny tiny little heart. Isn't that so cute? So I will just add that right here, a little bit of glue to put that on there. And we'll just add our little heart right here. So that makes our sweet card complete. I think I'm going to turn these just a little bit like that so they're kind of more in alignment there. Alright, so that makes our sweet card complete. I hope you guys have enjoyed this and have a fabulous day everybody. Take care and come join us on the challenge. Take care, bye bye.